Stephen Furtick is the pastor of Elevation Church. Stephen Furtick has a seminary degree. Stephen Furtick has been a pastor for many years. Yet Stephen Furtick continues to say ridiculous things in the pulpit. This is very concerning as a pastor to listen to someone with this much experience say these things in the pulpit. It tells me that Stephen Furtick does not truly fear God. He does not take the office of pastor seriously, and he's using it for his own self-promotion and self-gain. It baffles my mind that people continue to defend Stephen Furtick, despite him affiliating with false teachers who preach the prosperity gospel, who are in the Word of Faith movement, which is a false movement that lies to people. People have also defended his I am God Almighty statement that he said in a sermon. People say, oh, that was just a slip of the tongue. But Stephen Furtick teaches the little God's doctrine, which is heresy. It's an idea, a false doctrine that teaches that we are made in the image of God and we are gods. Check this clip out for yourself. James said something curious. He said, if you listen to the word and don't do it, you're like a man who looks at himself in a mirror. In the beginning was a word and the word was with God and the word was God. My maker is my mirror. God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. You are not my maker. You will not be my mirror. When God said, I am to Moses, you know, my name is I am, he was trying to get him to see you are as I am. You are as I am. This is truly, truly mind boggling that a pastor with a seminary degree can say this in the pulpit. And I say this with all respect so I don't upset you too bad, but I say it anyway. When I read it in the Bible where he says, I am, I just smile and say, Yes, I am too. We are not little gods. We do not possess the same attributes as God. God is omnipotent. God is omnipresent. God is omniscient. We're not any of those things. Yes, we're made in the image of God. That simply means that we are the pinnacle of his creation, that we have a moral compass. We have a nature. We have a character. We have attributes such as faithfulness, morality, patience, love, kindness, things that animals don't have. We have the capacity to be redeemed. We have the capacity to be saved. We have an awareness of our consciousness. We also have an awareness that there's something outside of ourselves, something animals do not possess. To be made in the image of God simply means that we are the pinnacle of God's creation. That does not mean that we are gods. He says there's no other gods but him. He is a jealous God. He does not share his glory with anyone. So how can we be gods? This is a false idea akin to Mormonism. Where they teach there's billions of gods and they are little gods with planets. And God is just another being and Christ is a, another God. This is heresy. This is what Stephen Furtick teaches. We need to avoid Stephen Furtick because he clearly does not care what he says in the pulpit as long as it gets him attention, promotion, notoriety. If it gets the views and if it gets people in his seats, he's going to tell people what he thinks they want to hear, what he thinks is going to flatter them. But he's sending people to hell because he's creating false converts. He's creating people who truly don't know the biblical eternal God. If you enjoyed this video and you want more content like this, check these videos out. Did God truly break the law to save us? And did Stephen Furtick really say, I am God Almighty? If you need the proof, check these videos out right here. This is Pastor Frederick. This is by the book. Peace.